Hello, Marvel Zombies! How you doing? Uh, it's me, the real Manos, and I am doing a First Thoughts episode about that big Phase 4 teaser that Marvel Studios just put out today, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about it, my opinions, and so on and so forth. So, uh, before I get started, I make comic books too. I make a comic called Red Knight with some fantastic artists. Uh, we put this book out maybe a new issue three times a year, and it's totally indie, it's from us, we love it, and uh, I think you'll love it too. It's, uh, let's see, available in print and digital at manospublishing.com. Uh, uh, I make it, so go check it out. So, all right, now let's go into uh, the big deal, the big guys uh, with superheroes. And uh, we hit an anniversary recently, so uh, of course uh, Marvel put out this sort of teaser uh, looking back at uh, Marvel up until now, as well as looking towards the future, which is a good way to do it, I think. And uh, we, of course, used Stan Lee's words, uh, which were very nice and emotional and a good way to start it. Uh, no, no, uh, no sparing uh, our emotional uh, feels there. Uh, so anyway, they, uh, you know, it, it's a nice way to uh, look back and uh, build. Uh, then, of course, uh, the teaser really gets going. Now, I say a teaser, but, you know, we've already kind of started Phase 4. We've only really two projects in with WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, so we really haven't really gotten going. And um, this is really exciting because we're uh, dipping more into the films, and we get to see a little bit more. Of course, we see some Shang cheese stuff and uh we get to see i think if i'm not mistaken this is the first footage i've seen from the eternals so uh that's really cool uh, then of course we get some uh name drops for the official titles and they've been talking and bouncing around uh titles uh like the black panther uh sequel and the captain marvel sequel but this time we got the name we got we got the, the black panther wakanda forever uh, which has been a uh, Black Panther sequel that's been retold and it's going to be about characters from Wakanda and that's really cool because I'm very interested in visiting that world but there was so much uh, there was so much politics of the uh, of the story and who rules and who will you know be the Black Panther and what it what does it mean to be the Black Panther uh, and Wakanda's position in the world. We never really got to see the day-to-day -day lives of people who live in Wakanda, and that's, I, I hope we get to see a little bit of that in the film. Uh, I, I don't want to, I'm not saying it's going to be a day in the life of a, a Wakanda movie, but uh, it'd be nice to see a little bit of that uh, in this story, because uh, that looks like a cool place to live, and I'm very interested in what's great about it, and maybe what's not so great. Every country has its problems, so very curious to see that. <laughs> And then, of course, we got uh, what I'm pretty excited about is the Marvels. Now, uh, this, of course, was up until now uh, Captain Marvel 2. And Captain Marvel 2 really felt like kind of a placeholder title for me until they officially announced the real name. And I think it's been a while since one of the Marvel films has had like a standard, the title number two. I think it's been, good lord, what, since Iron Man? three really uh it's been a while because not even the third thor did that uh so i'm really excited about that and the fact that the font is the captain marvel font with the miss marvel s and you see in uh between one of the letters uh the symbol for uh photon or monica and uh that just confirms, you know, my hope that uh kamala and monica would be major characters in the film and that seems to be it. And i am been really excited. I've been kind of hoping that the film, since WandaVision sets up the fact that Monica and Carol are distant right now, uh, that there's some kind of beef, beef between the two of them, or at least Monica uh, towards Carol, is that I really love the idea of juxtaposing two younger characters looking at Carol and what Captain Marvel means to them. Where I mean, Kamala has been like a fangirl, 
and really looks up to her, while uh, Monica was that girl looking up to her and now she has her problems and I'm really excited to see that drama play out uh, against whatever action fun fest you know that they put you know they build around the movie uh, so that's really cool I'm very excited about that and uh, then we get to see a little bit uh, more of a couple of the other films that we, we know have been coming and then a brief Fantastic Four so uh, I'm very excited, and of course, yeah, I know that uh, Fantastic Four is coming before X-Men, and to be honest, that's a good idea. Um, we're still kind of need to let X-Men from Fox kind of just, we need to let it die, and we need some breathing space, uh, and there's uh, more space between Fantastic Four, because a lot of people even forgot about Fantas the F Fantastic Four, or whatever we called it. Uh, so, and that's also easier to, that's an easier creation <laughs> to put into the MCU. So, uh, I'm very excited. I'm very curious. I hope maybe sometime this year we can get a kind of date or some kind of morsel of information on it. Because uh, I'm very, very much looking forward to see what uh, the MCU does with uh, Fantastic Four. So, uh, and then of course we had a little bit of Black Widow. This. This poor film that's been delayed forever because of like circumstance and coronavirus and just oh, it's just been a mess. Uh, can't wait to finally eventually see that. Uh, so uh, that's going to be great. Uh, yeah, this teaser, this little celebration demo reel or whatever you want to call it, I think uh, think made me pretty excited and uh, I'm very excited mostly about uh, you know a couple of bits of news we got in it. You know specifically about World of Wakanda and Marvel. So. I'm all in uh, as far as this is concerned. So, hey, what did you, the viewers at home, think? What did you think about this little uh, thing? Uh, let me know in the comments below what uh, Phase 4 Marvel project are you looking forward to the most? Um, and, uh, you know, just leave me a comment below. You can comment, of course. You can uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for all things Manos. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr. Uh, I'm on TikTok, and uh, you can support this channel and Manos Publishing at Patreon for just a dollar a month. And I think that's it. We're going to be talking about MST3K, I think, next, and then we got some comic book reviews. Uh, those are the next two things I got coming up. So, push the button, Lindsay. <laughs>